cut that. What's the carrier break in a Dana 60? Four. It's, uh... Time, time for a weenie roast. The idea is the casting needs to be preheat, post-heat, warmed up to about 400 degrees, which makes it easier for the welder to actually melt the cast steel that is the casting. This is cast steel, not cast iron. That, so warming up the axle, uh, warming up the housing. Using the implements available, in this case, a weed burner. Check temperature from time to time. The idea is 400 degrees, not 900, not glowing red. Well, okay, so the face is getting up towards 400, um, but we need to get on the casting. So maybe shoot in from underneath okay. on the... Uh, Focus on the inside, not on the on the face. Yeah. Yeah. Try not to get too close because I get a backflash. Yeah. Yeah. recommend making sure your axle is clean before you do this. Yeah. Okay. So that's 500 and something. That's 400 and something. So I think we're good. Sounds like we're there. Yeah, they, uh, they recommend that you do stitch welds uh, just to spread the heat around as you go. to see in the shadow like that. Mm.
trouble with moving her around is, is that you start running out of places to move to. We're going to start, uh, we've already started a little bit, but uh, we're going to use this uh, needle scaler to, uh, to peen the welds. Um, it helps uh, relieve stress. Re yeah, relieve stress as, you're, uh, as it cools. It keeps things from cracking. Good. It's good for the casting, too. Oh, yeah, good for the casting. Okay, one more mini roast. Uh, the idea here is to heat the casting back up and then wrap it so that the casting and all of this new metal gets the opportunity to try to cool slowly and cool together over as long a period of time as possible. The idea is to warm it back up to 400 degrees again. Yeah, 350 ish. Side. Yeah. We got it nice and warm all the way around. Four something. Four seventy something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, we're good. So the goal of this uh, post heat is to bring the casting and the new metal all up to the same temperature at that roughly four hundred degrees. Then wrap it up with blankets so that it all cools together slowly. Helps avoid cracking. Helps avoid uh, additional stresses inside the. The, all this new metal. Yeah, and I think we're going to want to reposition the axle, so I have to set the camera down. Yeah. Okay, so we got out the wheat burner again, reheated the casting back up to 400 degrees after we had finished all of the other welding. The reason for that is to help encourage the new metal and the uh, casting to cool together at the same rate which is all about trying to relieve stress and avoid stresses being built up uh, between the casting and the new metal. Once it's all hot, we wrapped it up in the welding blankets. The idea is to hold the heat in and slow the cooling process as best we can. Some folks will do things like go bury the axle in the, uh, the kid's sandbox for the same purpose. The whole idea is to hold the heat in and slow the cooling process as much as possible. Um, at this point, we uh, basically set it aside because there's nothing else for us to do until it's cooled down. We want to give it as much time as, as possible, uh, let it come back to essentially room temperature, and then we can continue working on the axle. 